Hi, Mr. Bennett here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the experiment for parallel and series circuits. So, first thing you need to do is you'll need to select at least three uh, resistors of different sort of uh, different resistance, and obviously to work out the uh, resistance that you've got, you need to use the color code here. So, an example, the one I've got here is I've got a brown, green, brown. So that would mean number one's brown, green is five, so that'd be one five, and then I'll have one zero, so that'll be 150 ohms. Now, to work out the resistance for a parallel circuit, I simply have one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3, so therefore that's gonna be one over 150 plus one over 150 plus one over 150 which will give me 3 over 150. That's what 1 over RT is. So therefore, RT is equal to 150 over 3. We just invert it, which is equal to 50 ohms. All right. Now, if I'm using a resistance, a voltage of 9 volts, then if we want to work out the current, the current's going to be equal to 9 divided by 50. So I go to my calculator. So 9 divided by 50 is going to give me 0.18 amps. All right, so I'm expecting to see a value of 0.18 amps. It's probably a good idea to do this before you actually do your experiment. That's equal to 180 milliamps depending on the scale that you're using. So you know what you're expecting to see with that. Now on the back, I'm gonna show you how to do the experiment. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Set up over here. So you can see here I've got a parallel circuit set up. Uh, obviously all these wires, when you're looking at the wires, they go that way. So they're making connections. And I've got a series circuit. So I've got two connected in that line, two connected in that line. So that's my series circuit. You're gonna to need to make sure they are properly, properly down the bottom there of the actual breadboard. Now to measure these, what you have to do is simply I've got a wire going into this part of my parallel circuit. I've got the white wire going to the black wire over here that completes the circuit. So when I connect my uh, multimeter in, in uh, line with it, you'll find that it should complete the circuit and we'll get a current going through it. So if I just connect up this thing over here with my wire over here, ah, oh, it goes the wrong way. So that just means I have to reverse my, my um, probes. Now, when we're doing this, oh, I need to measure that. Right? So you can see over here, right, looking at our scale there, right? so our scale that sort of goes 0, 50, 100, 150, the middle bar there would be 175. That's probably saying it's about 165 there on that scale. Now, if you look at the scale down the bottom there, I've got that set to 250 milliamps. So that reads 0, 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, and 250. If that was set on 1 amp, 1 milliamp, then I'd use this scale here, the, the 1, 0 to 10. So that would be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and 1 milliamp. All right, so depending on the size of the resistors you use, as to what scale you're going to use. So again, right, reading it off, you can see that's pretty well on that, 100, uh, on that 10 mark there. So that's going to give me roughly about 165 milliamps with that reading. All I need to do then, if I want to do the next one, is go across to over here. All right, connect that in the in the line there. All right, and I'll do the same thing over here with the white one. Just having trouble getting it in. All right, so make sure it goes down and goes into into the wire. All right, so do the same thing over here. So I can leave all those other resistors where they are. Okay, I'm just going to connect that in line. Right, put my black one in there as well. So I'm going to move that across. 
poked it in the same line as the wire, the white one. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. Just connect the, the red over here. And hopefully you'll see something happen. So I'm not getting a reading there. So what it means is I might need to go down in terms of my scale. All right, so I keep trying it till I find something that actually works. Okay, see so it's sort of registered there. So the scale I'm using there is 25 milliamps. Okay, so that means I'm using the top scale there. All right, so that's zero. Uh, the 50 would represent five. So it'd be five milliamps. So it's about two milliamps that I've actually got there on my scale. And I hopefully you get the idea of that. Now, if you need some help, make sure you catch up with me in class and I can work with you individually in your groups. Cheers. So now all I have to do is record that. So this here, this value I've got here is my expected value. Or we might call that one our calculated value. No, so once I've actually got my measured, right, so if I'm saying that is 1.7 milliamps, oh, so 170 milliamps, get rid of that there. Well, we can say 1 1.7, 170 milliamps is 0 0.17 amps. All right, now to work out our percentage error, that would be our percentage error, that's going to be equal to simply 0 0.18 is my expected. Take away 0 0.17 all over 0 0.18 and then you times that by 100 to get your expected value. Now all I would need to do here, I need to verify this for a number of circuits. So probably what I would like to do is play around with maybe three, four, five different parallel circuits on the board. And I have to do the same thing for a series circuit as well. So the combination of resistors I use, I would probably want to do that for um, four, maybe five resistor circuits as well. All right, so that way I can confirm whether this rule is actually working at all. Now, I'm quite happy with that result if that's what I'm getting because I know inside my circuit I've actually got some wires, some extra wires, some extra resistance. So I'm expecting my measured value to be a little bit less than probably the expected value. All right, so if it's actually more, it's probably more of an issue with that. Anyway, I hope this helps you in terms of looking at your experiment. Remember, you're coming up with your experimental plan. Now, as you can see on the board over here, you can actually have um, different circuits set up on the board. You just need to move where your wires go. So you can actually have your parallel on your series circuit. All right, make sure you catch up with me if you need some help.